Hey, this is Daniel Chu, aka Chewbacca. Today is day 26 out of 30 of November rejection challenges. I can actually count the number of challenges I have left on one hand, which is really exciting for me because it means I'm almost done uh, and I, I can stop doing this soon. Uh, although this has been really fun, honestly. Um, if you're wondering what this is all about, uh, please check out the rest of the videos on, on the YouTube channel that I have up. Uh, or check the link to my blog in the, the description below, which will explain to you basically what is this and why the heck am I doing it. Um, today is Sunday, and uh, keeping with sort of the theme of lazy Sundays, uh, it seems like I just am more exhausted on Sundays. Um, I am doing an easier challenge today. Uh, I am back down in La Jolla Village. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing today is uh, talking to a homeless person, trying to ask them about their life story, just kind of get to know them if I can. Um, if you've been following along at all, you, you, you probably know that I've already done a challenge kind of like this. Uh, I had a, a very similar challenge, which was to uh, have dinner with a homeless person uh, and try to get to know them in the process. Um, that experience was like uh, actually pretty, pretty uh, eye-opening. It was very different than what I expected. Um, the, the person I talked to seemed very normal at first, but then like became, it became, became increasingly clear to me over the course of the conversation, uh, that, uh, while he, he's probably suffered a lot and, and a lot of things have probably happened to him that are really unfortunate. Um, it's, it was very hard for me to really understand, uh, exactly what his background was and, and where he came from and, um, what his life has been like, uh, because it, it seemed like he had probably some, some like mental uh, health issues um, that I, I could not personally untangle. Uh, so for a while, it seems like he and I were, were actually speaking different languages, which was uh, kind of weird. Um, that that challenge for me was actually scary, like physically, like uh, existentially scary. I actually thought like I might be in like physical danger uh, at certain points just because um, I, could, I can't really predict uh, what that guy is going to do. You know, I, I can't actually understand how he thinks and therefore it's hard for me to predict his actions. Um, and it was at night. So, you know, in, in retrospect, uh, I didn't really set myself up for like serious success there, but it was an interesting experience. Um, today it's the middle of the day, uh, which means that like, I don't have to worry as much about like feeling just like, you know, a little more afraid because like, I can't, you know, like, I guess I'm afraid of the dark. I don't know. I'm not really afraid of the dark, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's not nighttime, which means that like, I feel generally a little more safer, um, feel a little like uh, I can be more aware of my surroundings um, and there are more people around uh, so I am going to try this again basically um, same general thing except I don't have food to offer this time uh, and I, I am hoping I am still hoping that I will I will find someone who who can at least give me like enough rationality to uh, sort of explain to me their like life circumstances and how they got to where they are um, but lacking that, you know, I think it's still interesting, uh, to, to like sort of open my eyes to, uh, being more aware that, you know, mental health is an issue and that, um, many people on the streets, uh, suffer from that. Um, it's, it's unclear which way it goes, whether they were homeless first, uh, and then developed mental health issues or if they had mental health issues that, and that led to them being homeless. Um, there's probably studies been done on that. I don't know, but it, it is fascinating regardless. Um, and so today, today is really less, I guess in, in a sense, less of a rejection challenge and maybe more of a, an exercise in empathy uh, and conversation. Um, and, and again, I, I allowed this onto the list because uh, I, I think it's, it's interesting. You know, it's, it's definitely something that's a little out of my comfort zone. Um, I have always kind of wondered about the stories of people on the streets. Uh, but I've never really stopped, uh, aside from the last time I did this this sort of challenge, I've never really stopped to actually like, you know, talk to them, try to get to know them. Um, so we'll see what happens today. Um, I'm I'm hoping for a different kind of experience than the last last one time I tried to do this. It's possible that the guy just won't want to talk to me, or or, or girl, uh, they just won't want to talk to me. I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll I'll try to keep going until I find someone who actually will sit down with me for like thirty minutes. Um, but yeah, wish me luck. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, would it be okay if I sat and talked to you for a little while? I sort of want to just chat, kind of, uh... Uh, no. No? No, you... I'm getting ready to go. Getting ready to go? Yeah. I gotta get down to the meeting. 
All right. Do you... I'm just getting myself motivated to get down there. You have like five minutes or no? Not no. Nah. All right. Well, All right. have a nice day. All right. Excuse me. Uh, I'm wondering if you would be willing to uh, just sit and chat for a little while. Uh, no, I don't want to. You don't want to? No, no, not at all. Why, may I ask why not? Because I'm taking a little nap and that's my own business. I, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Have a good day. All right, you too. Okay, I've made two attempts so far and uh, both times I got rejected. Um, surprise, I guess maybe not so surprisingly, uh, since I have nothing to offer. I think maybe like these people are not so interested in talking. Um, in complete fairness, the two people I've approached so far have been looking like they're like resting or like sleeping. Um, though I guess many of the homeless people I come across are doing the same thing. Um, I did did come across a couple other opportunities earlier, but like missed them because I had to park. So I'm not having much luck today so far, but. Uh, I'll keep trying. Um, I think I may have to change my approach because, you know, I have nothing to offer. It's just saying, like, I'd like to sit and chat. Like, yeah, I got kind of a rude response uh, for, for one of those. So, um, I don't know. Maybe if someone's, like, actually, like, sitting there and looking, like, alert and, like, not, like, sleeping, maybe I'll have more luck. Or uh, otherwise, I'll have to maybe just try to think of something else to say to open the conversation. I don't know. Um, honestly, not really sure what else I would say. But... Uh, I'm gonna try for a little while longer, and, uh, if I, yeah, uh, I'm actually having a lot of trouble finding, finding opportunities here, so, um, maybe try for a little while longer, and if I can't, then, like, technically that's two no's, uh, though I didn't really get the sort of interesting experience out of this that I'm, I'm hoping for, so, we'll see. Get the uh, ten piece chicken nuggets, please. Just the nuggets. Just nuggets. Yes, please. Uh, for here, please. Who's the uh, chicken nuggets? 144, 10 nuggets. Oh, that's me. Uh, thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, Excuse me. Do, do you mind? Would you mind if I just sat with you for a few minutes? No, 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 don't. Don't. Okay, so uh, anyway, the uh, uh, we're in my uh, some old band of mine from like 1940, like 1940 Ohio criminals or something. They stopped the van in front of uh, yeah. the uh, uh, yeah. vans at the door by the bathroom. They say they uh, took off with my uh, blankets. And uh, President Trump is in one of my blankets right now. Someone took your blankets? I said don't talk. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, well, um, you know, I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I, I've made three attempts today, uh, and all three times the answer has been no. Um... Yeah, actually, the second person I talked to, I'm not, like, totally positive he was homeless. He had a bike, but then again, he was also kind of just napping in the park with, like, a bunch of blankets and, and stuff. So, hard to tell, but, um, yeah, they, they all said no. Um, the last lady I found that the, at a jack-in-the-box, I, I, I realized, based on memory, that, like, up in, like, SF and in New York, like, uh, often homeless people hang out in, like, fast food uh, restaurants. Um... And uh, she was just, yeah, definitely didn't seem like she wanted to talk. Uh, I asked if I could sit down, and she was just like, no, don't. Uh, and then kept talking, 
Um, and it took me a little, like, I, I just kind of, I didn't really assume she was talking to me. It was, like, seemed kind of clear that she was talking, kind of just, I don't know, to talk. Uh, and what she was saying, like, pretty clear that she probably has some, some mental health issues or something. I don't know who she's talking to or, or why. Um, I think it could have been interesting to, like, try to engage a little more in conversation. I, I, did, I did push a little bit, and, and she just told me, like, hey, I said I don't, I said don't talk to me. Uh, and, you know, you don't mess with that. So, uh, in three attempts today, I, I got rejected. Um, I think, you know, honestly, that wasn't really the point of, of this challenge today. Uh, it wasn't really a rejection challenge as much as it was a, like, uh, let's see if I can learn a little more about what, uh, what someone else's life is like, but, um, yeah, I guess, like, lacking anything really to offer to any of these people, there's maybe, there's no reason for them to talk to me. I guess maybe less reason to talk to me than, um, even in a normal scenario where, let's say, I just, like, walked into a coffee shop and asked someone random if I could sit down and chat with them, like, I think I'd actually, I would have had more success with that than I, I did with this. Um, and I, I think part of that maybe has to do with just like the number of people who actually do bother to talk to these people. You know, the, the first person, uh, I said, excuse me, sir. And like, it didn't, it wasn't until the second time that I said that, that he realized I was talking to him because he must just assume that I was talking to someone else. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm still very curious. You know, I think homelessness is, uh, clearly, uh, and it's not, not as big an issue here in San Diego since it, it took me so long to find a homeless person, uh, or at least in, here in La Jolla. Um, there are clearly homeless people around, but uh, the density of, of that occurring is nowhere near, like San Francisco, for example, or New York. Um, but was was still very curious about, you know, what, what circumstances led to these people being on the streets and um, what they worry about, they think about on a daily basis, uh, but unfortunately didn't get a chance to learn any of that today. So maybe in the future, who knows? Uh, but... As underwhelming as I know that is, uh, that's that's gonna be the end of day 26, uh, and I have four days left. Four days, I guess. Yeah, four days left uh, of this, and uh, a couple of. Uh, I think I have one more easy challenge to do, which is just like jogging with a stranger. And the only reason I haven't done that yet is because logistically, I'm not sure how to record that, but I'll try something. Um, and then I have a couple of uh, more difficult challenges left. Um, off the top of my head, I think I have. Uh, I have busking. I'm gonna spend 30 minutes playing like Christmas songs on a violin, which is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I also have uh, asking a stranger if they will uh, apply sunscreen to my face. Uh, and then I think there must be one, one more, uh, but I can't remember exactly what it is, so I'll have to go back and look. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back tomorrow for day 27.